What's going on guys? This is Jake with Sony RC. Got my brother Wes with his Ultimate X Max right here and uh, Red Cat Vigilante um, with the J Concepts Magmas on here now. And as you can see, they're pretty close to the same size as the sledgehammers. These are the belted sledgehammers on here. Um, sledgehammers are a tad bit wider, but they're really similar. I also went through all the diffs on this. I got 60 in the back, 500 in the center, and 100 in the front. So we're going to try that out. All I had was 500 for the center. Um, it was just diffing out too bad before, so we're going to see how that goes. Obviously, I'd like to go a little higher, but that's all I had. And the X-Max is still stock. Uh, I think they use a little bit thicker from the factory. So. so this is the Ultimate. Got the aluminum shock caps, front diff cover. He does have the HD arms on here all the way around. The bottom are black, top are blue. Um, it's got the nitrate shock shafts on here, so these shocks are super smooth. It does have all the aluminum steering with the servo saver and everything, servo horn. It does have the high torque servo from Trex, so the metal gear. Um, stock speed control still with IC5s on here, because I don't know, Trex's plugs are terrible. Even the wheelie bar has got aluminum wheels, it's pretty neat. It's got the aluminum diff cover back there too, um, and then the Trex is cover here and then it does have the HD gears in here that comes with when you get the ultimate and the aluminum uh, casters and all that yeah oh yeah and, yeah, and uh, the casters and uh, hubs in the front are aluminum from Traxxas and the rear ones too with the oversized bearings so it's actually worth the money if you're gonna do all those upgrades anyways so it just doesn't come with the HD arms that's the only thing he did upgrade over what it would come with normally um, and then this guy just to show you that it's all stock I did break a rear arm, it's weird. I just broke the middle part. I did not break the outer part, so it's still good, but I did throw a new one on there already. Um, and then there's that AGF servo in there. But other than that, everything else is stock. <laughs>
a quick uh, after bash report. Um, did a full battery for it. Not all the footage you've seen. There's quite a bit more jumping and tumbles and crashes and stuff. I had a really bad crash on the rear end. Um, I did rip this body mount out of the uh, shock tower in the back, but it, the screws weren't right back in, just ripped them out. Kind of fits in there, so that was no problem. It actually didn't break the body mounts or anything, so I'm super impressed with that. Um, the only thing that broke today is right here. I got zip ties on here now, so I finished my battery out. But on the top, you can kind of see there's a piece here. And on this side, it broke off. And this brace that went to the back when I landed on my back really bad. Um, this brace, like, it bent the screw inside. So I just bent it straight. Like, there's like an Allen screw inside. I bent it straight, put it back on. Um, other than that, that was fine. Um, nothing in the bumper, nothing in the back broke, no suspension arms, everything was good. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's really impressed. Um, I do have this foam in here that I stuck, that came with my motor from a different car. I stuck this in here. And then the best part, the most impressive part on this truck, though, is the body. It literally bent all the way down, like, and it didn't crack at all. Some of the paint's coming off, some dents in it, but it's really good material or whatever they used. So, and the tracks, this is garbage. So. <laughs> All right. I just set the video after I brought it in.